It is the early hours of the morning on sunrise on the 4th of July 2018 and I have my moo tea, moo, 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 moo tea, moo tea here, M-U a combination of I think 16 herbs and roots and things And this morning I was thinking, just <laughs> just <through> this morning. <laughs> this morning I was thinking um, the nature of a reality, the third dimension, and the reality on Earth. And. how a reality a reality is from the morning to night and then from the the evening into night the morning night morning cycle the yin yang the the daylight and then sunset and the darkness and the daylight but it's more than that we and then on a primitive level we say dark and light day and night darkness and light but when you stop thinking and uh, you observe only that it's totally something else and that is the that's the dimension we live in when you capture that that moment where day and night meet and both of them exist together then what happens is in the next moment we We then live our lives uh, that we call the day, the that reality that we can see, and so in a way the plants live on a different dimension. rooted to the earth in one place and the day and the night orbit them in a seamless circle but we humans move around physically we we experience the the dimensions through movement it's not necessarily that we're more superior we are just given a skill to understand the all dimensions in relationship and so That's the part that we miss, because when you experience the meeting of yin and yang, the moment where day meets night, the sun has not risen, it's only r just rising, but the darkness has not left. It remains, so this, the, the light is beginning, 
but the darkness remains. When you experience that moment and you actually experience it, you're not thinking, a door opens. It's like a, a gateway or a, it's like a door into another dimension where you can actually see both. You can see where the yin and the yang meet. That's terribly important. It's incredibly important that we become who we are, who we came here to be. That's the, that's the meeting of day and night when our persona, our persona, our avatar becomes one with who we are, the spirit and the soul, our incarnation, the energy, the life, the, the intelligence. That's the point where we meet and the cycle of day and night, day and night, that's what we live in. It's this perfect, seamless cycle. And the awareness of that becomes ourselves. That is an insight, that is a, a gateway into realizing the yin and the yang, the meeting of the two forces. Intelligence and spirit meeting in three-dimensional matter. That's where we meet ourselves. And, the, and then nature becomes incredibly important in, in all its forms, in, in all its complexity and simplicity.